Well, welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Steph Zabra. What up, bra? Oh, my lord. What up? Everything's falling apart. <laughs> okay, careful now. We're looking at blonde or blondie. It's blonde. That's blonde, right? Yeah. Why the E at the end? That's just Official trailer from Netflix. English is a weird language. You guys, if you haven't done so already, please do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. I've only seen one Marilyn Monroe film. It was the one with... Oh God. Some like it hot. It sounds like that's what it is, but I don't know if that's what it was. It was where t these two, this guy's cross-dressing to be a girl, to be near him, near Marilyn Monroe. I'm giving away the whole movie now. So <laughs> that's basically the premise. He I just, haven't uh, seen any of them. Oh, okay. I just know the title. Well, let's let's get into this and we'll talk about <laughs> it after. Miss Monroe, it's time. you get your start? Maybe. What start? In movies. Why continental? But diamonds are a girl's best friend. I guess I was discovered. Men broke home as girls. I know you're supposed to get used to it. And we all lose our jobs. I've played Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn doesn't exist. When I come out of my dressing room, I'm Norma Jean. I'm still hurt when the camera's rolling. Oh. Marilyn Monroe only exists on the screen. Well, how do y'all feel about that? How do you feel, Steph Sabra? Looks very sad, as I've heard her life sadly was behind the scenes for being the most stunning person ever at the time and still one of the most stunning people ever to live. But it looks really sad. I mean, this is, it looks like it could be a realistic depiction on kind of the inside of what she was going through at the time but while being so beloved. And I think at that time, it probably really confused people for her to have like all of this yeah. and still be miserable and dying because they don't understand her. Yeah. I didn't know Marilyn Monroe had an accent. <laughs> the Ana de Marmis <laughs> accent. Yeah, it was peeping through. It was peeping through. I mean, she's got the look. Totally. She's got the look down pat, but why not Millie Vanilli this? You know, give the voice to someone else. Or uh, here's an idea, hire someone that doesn't have an accent and looks more like like Marilyn Monroe. I get it, Anna Armas is hot shit, and she's also hot. She has the Marilyn Monroe look down pat, and that's what they were going for, because like, you look at her, she's just as, she's, I would argue she's just as stunning. Anna Armas is one of the most beautiful women ever. And so I get why they tapped her, uh, and I'm sure she worked her ass off to get the accent as clean as possible. And so my heart goes out to her, but at the end of the day, it's like, I know what Marilyn Monroe sounded like. I know, yeah. I know. It's a, I haven't even seen her movies, but you've seen interviews with her, clips of her, and yeah. you know her voice. It's very specific. Yeah. And Ana de Armas' voice is very specific. Yeah. I just watched her in Gray Man, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's yeah. like, her accent is sexy, but it's so there. Yeah. All I mean, it's very much her, yeah, hold on. I just want to know what that freaking movie was. Something like it, hi. Yeah, it was. You're right. You're right. It was something like it hot. That was the movie. I was. They, we were on the same page. Thinking of the same thing. Ah, you and I. <laughs> I think that the overall vibe and look at this is pretty on point. It does feel like you're transported back in time into this era. I think that the move to make this black and white was a good one in order to make it feel, even though they saw the world in color, you know, I, I think that it does help it to make it feel more, even more of a period film. Kind of like Schindler's List, you yeah. know, even though they went through that whole thing in color. There's something interesting about that 
effect of making it black and white. It's also bold because they don't do that very often. Those are my positive feelings about it. I'm gonna watch it just because I, I like the vibe and I like Ana de Armas. I'm gonna watch it as uh, open-minded as I can. It's just, I cannot help but feel slightly funny about the accent and I'm trying my best to be like, it's cool. It's cool. I want to like this, you know? Yeah, it's true, especially when you're talking about Oscar-worthy performances and biopics and yeah. you're playing someone that's wildly famous. Right. They only really happen when they've encompassed the character on an unbelievable level. And while she does have the look, it's... I, I'm curious to see how she sings or, like, how she portrays her acting or how it is when it's actually done but this is the second may or it might be more but i feel like netflix had that one highly nominated film that was black and white as well like only like a few years ago i think gary oldman's in it it's about old hollywood i forget exactly what it's called but i had a problem with the black and white it's like it has to be so selective for me to mm -hmm. watch it but i'm curious what this will be like i think i know what you're talking about Right? Oh, you're talking about um, Citizen Kane. It's about Citizen Kane. That's what yes, it's about. Yes, yeah, okay. Yes. I'm like, I, cause I can see the yeah, movie yeah, yeah. on my shelf. It's like right there. But I forget what the movie is. Yeah. Called. I'm like, oh, no, there's a classic. Yeah. I meant to watch that. I think I started watching it because the, the behind the scenes story is actually quite interesting. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, I was like, ah. Uh, it's one of those experiences where because it's the internet and because it's not inside of a dark room that I've paid for a, a movie theater. That sounded weird, but anyway, you know what I mean. Because Straight. because you're not like some, sort of locked off from the world in that way, isolated, uh, it's easy to just go, I'll pause this and come back and then yeah. forget, and that's what I did. I put it on pause and I just never came back to it, which I want to, now that you've mentioned it, I'm like, oh yeah, that was something I wanted to watch. You didn't watch it? I did the exact thing you just described. Oh, okay, gotcha. I probably got halfway through, thought the acting was phenomenal. The story was interesting, but for some reason I was like, I'm going to come back to this. I don't really want to finish it right now. Gotcha. I feel like we would finish this because Anna de Armas is quite the... Yeah, she's stunning. I mean, get it. She must have some good Netflix deal going on because She must have a really good agent. Yeah. Because when she did uh, War Dogs, I forgot which what her first film was. She didn't even speak a lick of English. Achara was just telling me about it today for the second time because she forgets what stories she tells me. But <laughs> so she got the script. And she just memorized, she committed to memory all of the English lines. And they didn't know that she didn't speak English until they tried to throw her an improv line. And she's like, I no es, no inglés. Oh <laughs> no my. No So whatever way. she said, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, everyone on the set freaked out and she was embarrassed. But she's like, somehow she booked the, the, a major role. And then her career is about doing that ever yeah. since. To the point that she's playing one of the most iconic actresses of all time. That's interesting. In American history. In American history, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got the look. And, and she has that cry. She has that tremble cry yeah. that she did in Knives Out. I feel like her character nailed that like tremble, like scared mm -hmm. person. Yeah. And that's kind of what they're depicting in Marilyn in this. I do wonder if, because it's Anna de Armas, they made a point to limit how many lines she needs to have. Mm -hmm. to make it easier on her and to limit how much she has to like struggle with that. Because the very first line out of her mouth in the trailer, I'm like, I hear it. I hear an accent of some kind and I'm just, just like, but I'm also, I have ADHD, I think, because I just pick up on stuff and I just hyper-focus on it. You know yeah. what I mean? But anyway, I'm a weird guy. Don't mind me. Most people, it's, I, I quickly glanced at the comments just to see if anyone else is like feeling the way I did at all. And they're like, oh yeah, I hear an accent, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, why, what? It doesn't matter. All right, fine. It doesn't matter. People I, love her, so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. They're talking about the accent, but. Hopefully the performance is good enough to make it not matter. Anyway, yeah. So I think that uh, well, that's enough. That uh, uh, let's get out of this. So, anyways, you guys, <laughs> let's get out of this. Yeah, let's get out of this conversation. It's not <laughs> People aren't even here anyway. No one's here anymore. You are you still that. here? Just hashtag we are still here. If you. That's it. Peace out.